a lot of the publishers that we work with are in, in the freemium business, free to play, in-app purchases, things like that. How do you see the freemium business playing out over the next couple of years? Yeah, we've clearly seen a big move towards freemium amongst all publishers, big or small. Um, and I, I think the interesting thing is going to be how, how it all shakes out and whether or not people can actually generate the revenue required to, to support a business um, using freemium as a standalone model. Um, we, we've seen, and, and we talk to smaller app developers all the time who were generating nice income with mobile advertising, decided they didn't want to do that anymore and, and just moved to an in-app purchase model. Um, but they haven't been able to acquire enough users and get their monetization metrics correct so that they've, they've made enough money. Um, so, so I think we're going to see kind of this trend towards maybe three buckets of developer publishers. Um, the first bucket is going to include the big guys, right? Z2 Live, Zynga, EA, et cetera, um, who have very little advertising. Maybe they do some offer wall stuff. Um, and then there's going to be the medium-sized guys who... Um, still are focused on freemium as a model, but also incorporate more mobile advertising. Um, and, and where I think, think this gets interesting is when we start um, doing a better job as an industry of uh, some predictive analytics and understanding when someone's actually going to pay you, when someone's not going to pay you, um, and if they're not, incorporate advertising at that point, right? So um, there's no technical hurdles to this at this point. Um, it's just a matter of, I think, probably some, some market education and getting the, the word out there that, hey, you, you can go do this. Are there any ways for developers to sort of do that predictive analysis today? Um, yeah, there are some companies that provide that. Um, most of them are focused on the higher end market, so they cost a lot of money. Um, but but that'll, that'll come down, right? Um, I know there's a company in your Techstars class that's start, sort of getting into that. Um, model um, so so there are definitely avenues for, for people to do it um, but to kind of to, to, to wrap up and wrap up the question I think it's going to be really hard for the market as a whole to support freemium um, I think there will be some really big guys that can afford it and acquire users and make a ton of money um, and then there will be everybody else right who has to fight for scraps um, I don't know what do you think yeah I think that's really interesting I think I think in-app purchasing is, is sort of one of the best things that, that mobile has done right, uh, especially Apple with the ease of payments, things like that. They built up an amazing sort of universe of credit cards and users. Um, but you're right, a, a blended model has to be the future, right? There, there's no way that one size fits all for every app developer. Yeah. Um, and there needs to be... The, the more monetization techniques there are around the app ecosystem, the better off the, the app ecosystem will be. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you seen any effect on search as it relates to in-app purchase or advertising? So, you know, I, I, there, there's certainly, as, as things like, there are certain reasons why in-app purchasing actually does help search um, or freemium. Uh, one is that downloads matter a lot for search ranking yeah um, free apps generate more downloads yeah um, so if you're if you're going free versus paid then free will help you in, in search because you'll have the more the more downloads to rank more highly um, uh, in-app purchases for better or worse I, I tend to think this is worse and I think it'll go away right now uh, the title of all of your in-app purchases are actually used as keywords for app search um, really? Yeah, so it, it goes along with the app title, the description, keyword field, and, and, and your in-app purchase titles. Huh. Um, I think that goes away because it doesn't actually make a whole lot of... I can see where it comes from for, for things like magazines or, yeah. or you know, let, let's pretend you have a magazine uh, uh, app which you purchase each individual article. Yeah. Um, you might want to have the title of every article be searchable. Um, but I, I, I tend to think that that goes away, it becomes less important. Um, and, you know, the, the model of free versus paid heads more towards free where the apps are, are sustained by a blended model of, of ads and, and app purchases and things like that. Yeah. 
So lastly, what's the what's the single best tip you have for mobile app developers around ad targeting, monetization, uh, all of all of that sort of stuff? Yeah. So I don't think I could give just one tip, especially if we're talking about monetization as a whole. Um, so at a high level, I would say that app developers, especially those that don't have their monetization metrics and tracking down really well, to try a bunch of different things um, and test to see what works best, not only for for them, but their content and their user base. Um, for, from an advertising perspective, I think there's a couple of different things that should happen. Um, one, developers should do whatever they can to get location-based features into their iOS app so they can use location-based advertising. Um, it unequivocally pays more, um, and it's worth doing it if you can find a way to get it in there. Um, the second thing, and the, these kind of become little tactical things that a lot of people just miss, um, is making sure you have a good mediation layer in there. Um, so that can be just as simple as ad mob mediation, um, or you can go step up a little bit and go to Mopub, or if you have a lot of traffic, you can use Bursley. Um, and another little tactical thing is use Singleton Ad View, which a lot of developers either don't know about or, or, or don't use. Um, and Singleton Ad View ensures that you show the same ad as users scroll through screens, um, as opposed to refreshing every screen, um, which artificially increases your impressions and artificially decreases your click-through rate, so that's bad. Um, and, and you know, I think the, 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 the last thing I would say is that mobile advertising has gotten a lot better over the last couple of years. Um, we, we were at one point, or I came from uh, an app publisher, and we kind of all had this bad experience with big promises and you know, crappy delivery from mobile advertising. Um, but, it, but it's certainly gotten better, um, not only in terms of um, the amount of inventory that's available, um, but also the support that you can get from mobile advertising companies, SDKs, etc. Um, so yeah, that's great. Well, thank you so much for being here. This was uh, super informative. Yeah. Um, why don't placeplay.com, right? Yep. Uh, www.placeplay.com, um, spelled like it sounds. Um, or uh, yeah. All right. That's it. Thanks very much. Great. Thank you.